Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and this is the groom, and we finally just watched the Pet Cemetery 2019 remake, reimagining, yeah. re movie on Hulu, because now we have Hulu. Hulu. So, I, I mean, I don't feel like I really need to give that much of a synopsis for this as. It's Pet Cemetery, people. It's Pet Cemetery. It's a family goes to a new place, gets a new house. They find out there's a pet cemetery in their backyard. Their weird neighbor Judd tells them, you know, this is where I buried my dog Biff for he was a good sniffer. He was a hell of a sniffer. Yeah, I think it was. And uh, stuff happens, the cats, and then they take it to the pet, beyond the pet cemetery to an ancient place where they really shouldn't be going. Judd knows better, but he takes Lewis there anyways. But and he gives the best reason. He said that was... little girl was the first person to touch his heart in a very long time, and that's why he suggested it. Because she loved her cat Church very, 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 very much. And Church got hit by a truck because they live on a busy road. Goddamn COVID trucks coming through. Terrible things. Yep. yep. Pet cemetery. Yeah. Cat dies, comes back. Not the same. Though. Not the same. Maybe dead is better. What you bury there don't come back the same. Oh, so, what did you like about this movie? I like that John Lithgow's still getting work. I love him. I love Third Rock from the Sun so much, and it is <sighs> so hard to see him in a serious role. Mm -hmm. I was wait. I was waiting for him to go. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um. I like uh, when this was coming out. There's like four different cats in this movie, and I love them all. And at the premiere, the one was wearing a little bow tie, and it was adorable. And he was adorable, and I love him. I will try to get a picture of that. Yeah. Oh, he was precious. I think he might have passed away. One of them passed away shortly after the film released, which R.I.P. Sweet Sweet Prince or Princess, whichever you were. Oh, God, I hated this movie. I thought that, um, <laughs> I liked that there were different twists That's that happened only, in this movie the versus the liked. other movie, the one from 90... Something. I did something. It was fine. I. The only thing I liked was the same three things. I liked the twist. I love John Lithgow, and those cats were amazing. Mm -hmm. I liked Church after Church came back. That Church, I loved that Church because that Church was freaking evil. That Church I loved was it. A spicy, spicy lad. Um. Yeah, and that's all I liked about this movie. All right. Want to go into the things we didn't like about the movie? Mm -hmm. I have a lot, so I'll let you go first. Um, I found Ellie's character very annoying in Nailed the it. original Pet Cemetery, and um, I also found this one very, very annoying. Yes. I just, I don't know if that's how she's supposed to be portrayed, but I just, I can't get down. She's so annoying. No offense, but like kind of offense, because you were annoying. Um, I, uh... I hated the dad's face. That's I, rude. I just didn't like his face. Wow. I think they should have used a different actor. No, no, he no. He had this face, he had this look on his face, like he constantly smelled fresh animal shit in his house. He might he have, though, because it. Church came back from the dead, and you poop when you no, die. No, he had that face the whole movie. I just couldn't get over it. I just don't like that actor, so... Oh, wow. I th I thought it was interesting that they found an actor that looked very similar to the guy that played Lewis in the first movie. I think that's what they were trying to go for. Yeah. But his face sucks. I liked, um, I'm just going to put a bonus like here, the, the whole backstory with Rachel and Zelda when they were children. Yes, that was good. That, that being added to it was really good because mm -hmm. it showed, she was great. She was probably the best, the best actor slash actress in this she was entire the most, movie. Her reactions were with, the most believable. I felt like, and her overreactions when they did the backstory about her sister, she overreacts to some stuff, and it makes sense. They laid the foundation for it, and then did it, and it was perfect. And I'm using my hands too much. Um, oh god, I I hated everything. I loved, I loved, I loved Judd. Played by John Lithgow. I thought his character was perfect. Um, I just, I just, this movie was really dark. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking like 
dark in the content. I'm talking like it was literally hard to see. I am fully sighted, and I kept going, what the hell is that? Yeah, I, I pretty it much was, missed out. I had to explain stuff to like her. Like, the like, last you third of the movie. You don't have to make the movie hard to see to make it eerie. That's, you use fog or stuff like that. It's just, oh, it's so annoying. You can still have something lit well enough to have it, you know, the moon. translate into darkness. You can explain why it's nighttime, but it's still well lit. Have the character go, oh, it's a big full moon we got out tonight. No one's Then that say explains that. it. Well, no, I'm saying. It's just, I hate this movie. I... I really like the original. I remember I remember watching it when I was too young to watch it. But I remember watching it and I was like, oh, this is crazy. Oh, this is awesome. You know, blah, blah. I hated this movie. It was just, I just, it was boring to me. It was boring. The ending was stupid. I just, oh. I liked the effects. The, the uh, uh, yeah, I guess. <clears> the, I, <throat> I thought church looked great. Post-death church looked great. But I just... I, don't know. I thought the effects that they used on Pascal when they brought him into the exam room. Oh! He, that was good. Forgot about that. that. He looked that was real good. great. Like, not good, but, like, his and, like, effects looked The really nurse good. was like, I can see his brain. Yeah. And then it pans over. Because I... And the guy's like, eyes just, like, wiling around. When she said, I can see his brain, I was like, oh, great. They're not gonna... And then they pan over. I'm like, thank you. There it is. And thump, thump. That poor kid. So, um, yeah, I just... He was not a fan. And he made it very vocal throughout the entirety of the movie that he was not a fan. This movie sucks. So I'm not, like, quite surprised by your reaction, I must say. I'm just disappointed. I really, like, I I get too hopeful for remakes. I think, oh, wow, they're going to take a good... I'm, I'm so dumb. You think it's all going to be like the I, Evil Dead remake. I know. I've been spoiled. I know. I just think that I'm like, oh, they have all this new technology and the actors are great right now. They could probably grab really good actors and blah, 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 blah. And I think everything's going to be great. And then they just... But John Lithgow. Uh, John Lithgow saved this movie. I would have probably not watched the rest of it if he wasn't in it. Did you ever see honest. Santa Claus the movie with um, Dudley Moore and John Lithgow? With the candy canes that make you fly? No. We should watch that. I <laughs> love that movie. No, we should. <laughs> so, what would you rate this? Um, Probably like a 2.5 out of 5. Or a 2. I'm going to give it a 2. I'm going to give this a 1 out of a 1,000. <laughs> I, oh God, I wish I could give this negative numbers. You just broke I, our rating system. Ugh, I'm going to give this a one out of five because the only reason why it deserves even a one was the effects were great. John Lithgow's the man. The cat is, ador is ador adorable. Cats. The cats were adorable. And the swerve with the main part of the story, the swerve that you don't see coming, that was the only good part of this movie. Yeah. That was the only good part of them remaking the story. It's like, you think it's going one way, and then it literally swerves you, and it goes in a completely different dir direction. So, also, like, how does one train cats to do the things they were doing? I Listen, whoever trained those cats, come over. <laughs> no, she's fine. We have them. I want you to train cats. I want you to train my cat to look evil all the time. I want time. you to train my dog. Yes, I want you to train my dog to not be a dick. He can um, sit. That's about it. Yeah. But he sits really well. Yeah. Anyways, have you guys seen this movie? What are your thoughts? Have you trained cats? Is it easy? I remember my sister saying that they were trying to potty train one of the cats. Why? Her and her roommate at one point, And it didn't work out like halfway through. And then the cat was like, I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm going to poop over here. You broke the cat's brain. Yeah. It confused him. But anyways. Uh, like, meet the parents. <laughs> Leave a comment. Let us know your thoughts. Um, if you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. 
please don't forget to hit the notification bell for all uploads, all uploads, all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. Where can I find you? You can find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. Follow me there because every time I go live on Twitch, I send out a link to it, etc. etc. You can find me on Twitch directly under Repeat Ray Animator. She's making fun of me because I use my hands too much because I'm Pennsylvania Dutch and that's just what we do. Uh, you can follow me and my friends. We uh, play a lot of games. We're not really good, but we put a lot of content out there and we're hilarious. It's not informational, it's just entertainment. So. <laughs> Are you good? I just told you. Yeah, whatever. Hey, follow me, me or me. follow me or don't. I, I mean, know if Zachary you want, will be it's there. Fine. If you show up, cool. <laughs> no pressure. Oh. So, anyways, I want to go play with the cat. I oh, I hate you a little for making for making me watch this. I don't movie. make you do anything. You do you it because you me love me. Yes, yeah, so we had a very nice day watching movies all day, and then this ruined that entire day. No, no, no. Then we watched The Lion King. <laughs> yes. Yes, we did. And it was stupendous. You guys should watch The Lion King. Yes. Have a good day. Bye.